Yeah, I, I'm Jackson. I have zero experience with carpentry. I studied at a school for historic preservation in Boston and learned about how things were built, you know, 250 years ago. There's a long way to go. I'm nowhere near the top. Not that I thought I was, but there's so much more to do out there. Welcome back to this episode of the Passion for Craft podcast. Today we're talking about um, McMansion, Vic Mansion, if you will, <laughs> Victorian era houses as well as McMansions. Um, something we mentioned on the McFarland House episode is... I think I said I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a Victorian house and a McMansion in a lot of different ways. Um, <clears throat> and I've even embarrassed myself as we've been preparing photos of these houses, um, looking at them, asking whether or not a photo taken with a Model A in front of it had uh, <laughs> was a Victorian house or a McMansion. So, um, so let me set well, this up. Yeah, <clears throat> um, I feel like I did a great job. No, you do it. You do it. Um, <laughs> you do this one. You do this one. I've made the comparison in the past. Okay. It, for 20 years, I've been making this comparison that the McMansion is the modern Victorian. Okay. What does that mean? Um, the Victorian houses. Okay. Come. If you think about the Greek revival houses, federal Georgian houses that were very square and symmetrical and everything else. Victorian houses are ornate over the top, uh, showy filled with all kinds of ornamentation. Uh, they're, they're over the top. Um, the reason why culturally was because there was a rising, uh, wealth in the country, a rising middle class desiring to show off their newfound wealth and, uh, manufacturing prowess and manufacturing ability to make things much cheaper and faster through the industrialized mill shops. Mm -hmm. So you have this explosion of wood, you have explosions of, of ornamentation and detail, just more is more is more. Okay. And so these houses end up looking crazy okay what the, the, you know fast forward you know 100 years and in 1980 okay the word mcmansion was coined okay as a derogatory term to the kind of houses that were being built at the time that were showy over the top uh, crazy now same kind of things happen you have uh, the, the a, a, a rising you have the dot com you have the the rising wealth with the internet and and just the technological boom as opposed to the industrial boom that and computers and everything else so there is a newfound wealth there is uh new fangled manufactured materials like plastics and you know uh you know quartz countertops or the or the the from not for mica uh what was the it was it was all the rage there for a while um it was a solid surface countertop that was kind of poured in place um I'm the wrong guy to be looking at. Look at him. <laughs> it was the black stuff. You were working in the 80s, right? Corian. Corian. Is it Corian? Coriander. Corian. It was a. It was a. It was a basically a a, a, a man made surface that looked like stone, and so all these newfangled materials, uh, all the plastics, the concretes, and all these these composite, you know, dust that's poured into glue, that's poured into, that's made into these different things, and these people got crazy. The houses went crazy, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, so what we're doing is we're comparing, okay, and the argument I would make is that the Victorian McMansions, okay, even though that's not a thing, okay. Victorian houses were at least crafted better, at least followed some kind of, uh, of or were inspired by some type of architectural ideal, but were, were I think you said, Jackson, when we were at McFarland, yeah, but I like these better than, yeah. than, I, than I look at those other houses. And so what's the difference? Like, why, is, why are those houses built around the same kind of ideals better than the houses that were built 100 years later? Yeah. Materials, one. Right? Craftsmanship, materials, right? Um, is it Mc, sorry, I know this is a tangent. Is it McMansion because of McDonald's? Yes. Okay. That, uh, you know, they, they made, there was the joke that they, you know, they used to, McDonald's used to say a billion burgers sold or 11 million burgers sold or whatever. And so they're that just. That was McMansion. Yeah. They, they're, 11 million houses sold. Yeah. yeah. Well, it would, it would be like, they're all the same. You're making, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're, it's a cookie cutter that you're, that these, all these houses Got are it. over the top and look the same. Got so, it. I mean, a, 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 a similar term might be starter castle, right? It kind of a, yeah, right. right. What a, what a derogatory way yeah. of, of saying, you know, your house is a starter castle, right? It's just. This is my a, starter what, castle. What a funny way of saying it. I'll get there eventually. 
<laughs> so this house, um, what you know, what style is that? That is Victorian. Yes. What, I'll just say, what, because of the Model A comment, I think anything with a grainy photo is going to be Victorian. <laughs> That's a good thing. The guys with the bikes and the, and the fedoras out front might also be a clue. Is that a tandem bike? No. So this ornamentation, like you said, is over the top. And this is because they were saying, hey, we, we're going to do this. You know why? Because we can. This we looks, have the machinery to do yeah, it. This looks like a... Uh, 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 you know, a Swiss, a Swiss clock factory or something, you yeah. know, and, and it looks like the, the, the town hall in a Swiss city or, you know, Swiss little timber framed little ski village. It looks like Whoville. And, um, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's crazy. It looks cool though. It does. Well, I mean, it, it's impressive. Okay. Not only the height, but the amount of detail. I mean, look at those columns on the porch. I've never seen columns like that before. Um, and they're proportioned well. They're clustered, you know, to, to give the, the strength to being able to hold it up. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, I, I I think that's too much, right? I mean, to, to my taste today, looking at the sure. just it's like, too much. yeah, it's just like, come on, really? Um, I kind of like it's, it. It's impressive. What style is that house? Victorian. I like that house. That thing looks cool. Yeah. Victorian? It looks clean. It is Victorian, but which when I they're all Victorian. Okay, We're, nailed it. They're all Victorian. that's our answer. Nailed it. <laughs> um, which which style of Victorian? <laughs> which which which? Can I have multiple choice? <laughs> okay, so it's, no, it's right, hold on. Sorry, not multiple choice. Can you just run through a list of all the Victorians? Queen Anne. Okay. Italian eight. Okay. Italian eight. Second Empire. Okay. Oh wait. Second Empire. <laughs> Second Empire. Um, you know, Chateau-esque. No, it's um, not Chateau-esque. I uh, like Chateau-esque the best, and I know this is not Chateau-esque because I hate this one. So this is Second Empire because yes. of the mansard roof. You got okay? it. Yeah. The Second Empire was the Second Empire. Say it again. The what roof? The, the, the Second. I'm explaining. The you second, mumbled the roof. The you second, said the something roof. I'm going back to it. Okay. The Second Empire is the Second Empire of France, okay, and the Mansard roof, okay. Mansard was an architect in France, and, you know, this is called the Mansard roof when it's Sweet. tilted in like that. And so this is, is it, Second Empire. Is it Empire. like the, the slope at the end, too? Because uh, it, it, no, it's kind of bracketed by, like, these little outshoots. Correct. Um, I'm not sure why they did that. It's that, it's that roof detail at the yeah. top that makes it that mansard oh, it's the style like the the triangles and stuff at the top yeah the diamond like shingles. Yeah, where the slate shingles are yeah cool cool yeah that's i mean that's a cool style. i mean this this one this that one wasn't isn't as ornamented i mean there's a lot i mean there's too many brackets there right those brackets that to me are getting like <laughs> like you don't need that many and but that's kind of a part of the style right that's kind of part of the victorian i'm just being critical and okay. i'm just saying you know uh, th that's that's where i would say the ornamentation gets a little bit crazy on this okay. thing but it isn't like that previous house that uh -huh. that every surface was was blown up with some crazy stuff this is it might be a little bit of a dumb technical question but is that like brent hull's taste or is that like stylistic this doesn't fit the mold stylistically kind of deal does that question make sense? Um, I think like I'm asking if that's like a personal thing to you. Like you're like, I wouldn't want this oh, much ornamentation on the house. Or but if does you're it saying work like, for a Victorian as a Victorian house, this doesn't fit the style. No, no, no. It, it, they fit the, they've all fit the style. They fit the style. It's, it's just, just you. The, the, you're the, saying, the, okay, Brent, cool. Brent Hall being critical. That's cool. That's cool. What's um, new, right? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> he said, what's new, right? <laughs> 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 uh yeah no i'm an easy target that way um that's awesome yeah so what style is that um wow that is queen anne finally i'm it. hold on Locked it don't in. don't say it yet hold on a second it's not chateau-esque it's not second empire it could be carpenter gothic it could be um uh, now that you said other ones now i think it might be them <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought I had my full list. It doesn't know. look gothic, though. I don't see any gothic arches or anything. Yeah, it's not tall enough. It doesn't like have the full stretchiness of. And a what gothic was the house. other one you said? 
Carpenter Gothic. Carpenter Gothic, Queen Anne's, Italianate. Second Empire. Second Empire. Queen Anne, Queen. I guess, to go with Jackson. Ooh, yes. Uh, I think, I would suspect that's Queen Anne. <coughs> yeah, we nailed it. We nailed Typically, it. Queen Anne Two houses have a <laughs> turret on them, and this one doesn't. Um, Is that the, um, the like, from the McFarlane house, the little circular thing off to uh-huh. the side? Yeah. I was looking for guns, and I didn't see any, so. Um it's a turret. <laughs> Look at that bracket on the left side of the house, uh, you know, supporting that roof. Like a tank I mean, that, or something. <laughs> can you imagine making that? I mean, that that thing is probably 12 feet tall. Oh, yeah. That's the coolest part of it, that it is in my opinion. Wild. The coolest detail that is on the house. That is a huge bracket. We did these brackets for this house in, in Florida. That was a Gothic Revival house. That mm-hmm. was kind of a mock Victorian. Yeah. Those brackets that we made on the side of the house were four feet tall. Four feet tall. That's crazy. Sticking out about three feet. That that one sticks out, what, probably six or eight feet, six feet, <laughs> and it's probably 12 or 14 feet yeah, tall. Yeah, because it's like the whole second yeah. floor ceiling. Yeah, it's the whole ceiling. I, I will say, though, I don't really care for this one. Yeah, it's – it's uh, this one is McMansion-y, and that yes. is just kind of it, – it's there, – there's – it's hard to – it's hard to get a – What? Like, there's just – there's, it's too, too much. One of the things that's really interesting about this one is if we were looking at it from the far right side, it would probably look more appealing just because the symmetri- symmetry from the chimneys and everything. The way that it sinks into the cobblestone street is interesting because it's a lot more of like a top-heavy house than it mm-hmm. needs to be. Because if you look at it, it really goes out further and further with each layer. So it kind of doesn't feel like it's strong at the base as much. Yeah. You know it what I'm saying? It looks weak. It looks weaker. Yeah. Yep, that's true. That's true. This is cool. I'd say gothic. Mainly because of the spires. I think that's the only reason. The, hold on. Uh, Italianate, century something, Queen Anne, <laughs> Carpenter Gothic. Uh, does that all of them? Italian? I think I'm going to, I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to say Carpenter Gothic, even though I don't see anything. True gothic Victorian. On here. Yeah, it looks I, like I, a... I, yeah, I don't think it's strongly anything. Okay, this is okay. the basic Victorian this, this package. This would be like the vernacular, you know, Victorian that that is a kind of a blend of a bunch of different styles. That's not really strongly one style, but it is definitely from the Victorian era. I mean, this one stands out to me in the in McMansion in that what is it with that tower? Like, like, why is this quaint little house have that <laughs> bell tower on it? Yeah, right. It's just like where in the world did that come from? And who who designed that? This I mean, is the that one thing that I is said, out of place. I didn't know whether or not it was McMansion y or Victorian before we started rolling. Because it, it looks McMansion y. I mean, it looks like someone said, I really like the churches in <laughs> London, <laughs> yeah. but I want a house. I want a house and I, and it has to have a steeple. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's 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 an odd little thing. I don't know. It maybe it's a wedding chapel. What does that sign say? I rock have right wedding chapel. It looks like A's um, and R's and M's. Yeah. Anakin. Well, here we are. Back to modern times, fellas. All right. This one <laughs> is Queen Anne. Final answer. <laughs> this <laughs> one is. Yeah, n- yeah. Let's do that. Let's do it. That and this. What style is this house? Uh, this is that that uh, early American crap period you talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say craft or crap? Uh, with, a, with a P. It's a very strong P. Very strong P, yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. What does this house want to be? It wants to be a uh, cottage demolished. Style. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so this what, would be this what would was be the countryside one. French, something yes, French. It's French. Um, if anything, it's French. It's not good French, but it's French. With the dormers and the and the the ra- dormers, roof the, line. the stone, the the that roof line especially. Whenever you get a hipped line like that, that's typically French. When you're saying hipped line, are you talking about that little like it points, slants, and then goes up and flat? That? So a hip roof is the one that all sides slope to the to the to the, to the ridge or to a top. Okay. And so a gabled would be only two sides. Got you it. You have gable ends. And so a hip roof, you don't have a gable end. Got it. Um, which keeps you from having gable end returns. Which no is pork a chops. Yeah. Positive thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, um, go back. Um, this, <laughs> Please. this is, uh, Make it li- I think a lot of people would call this a McMansion. I mean, it, it, it is trying to be an architectural style. Mm-hmm. Um, 
it's pretty typical of uh yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of McMansions that are there's harder lot, on the yeah, eyes than this one. There's a lot worse ones than this one. It, the thing that's interesting about this is there's no consistency in the windows. Like, in the flat windows, maybe. But in the curved windows, there's like three different <laughs> yeah. styles of window that is weird. tops yeah, here. I, for some you reason, I think architects today think that, or designers today think that variety of windows is is something <laughs> that gives it distinction. And it yet, just makes the left one look out of place, like the left curved window over well, the door. Well, if you hold your hand up to the right and, and cover the right side of that thing, that, that's one house, and then yeah. you hold your hand up to the left, and that's an, they're almost like two houses it's that have been three. that have been grafted together. Yeah. Wow. And so uh, it's – but historically, traditional houses, all the windows were the same. All the yeah. first floor windows are the same. All the second floor windows are the same. All the third floor windows are the same. So this idea of having a hmm. dormer with an arch – and then a bigger dormer with an arch right. is just like it feels never, weird. never would have happened. Also, it doesn't help this house's case that there's like trash on the front floor. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's still being built, but it, it doesn't help that there's like the broken crates. It must be still, still in construction. It is. It, I mean, it's got the window tags on it still on all those windows. So Yeah, that's true. All right, next one. Yes. Our first McMansion. Austin, yeah. our producer, said he was going to try to impress us with some of the <laughs> McMansions that he found. That is so McMansion-y. And he's got it. Do you <laughs> think that's from the 80s? Yeah. That's I mean, from the it 80s. looks like it. Look, you can tell where the stairs are on the <laughs> with the windows. The the uh... <laughs> Look, it literally just goes ding, ding, ding. That's that's there's actually a historic precedent for doing that, so that's not terrible. Oh, but the it's funny. the uh, I mean, this is a house meant to be showy, meant to be you know, this is a show off. You know, I can I can have more peaks and 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 crazy stuff going on in my house than you can. And um, that's the biggest pork chops I've ever seen. <laughs> the Whoa, that is crazy. <laughs> oh, those are big. I mean, that's wow. like three feet by three feet. What? That is nuts. Yeah, that's terrible, isn't it? Um, <laughs> and in the square footage. But and so well, well, let's it's stop. Like the here. all you can eat pork. Let's let's <laughs> let's stop here. No, so eat. why is it that when we look at the Victorian houses, um, I mean, already all of those houses, I take all of those Victorian houses over this house all day, right? And so why? Why I, is that? There's balance and consistency in those houses, which make you not feel like you are. I feel like looking at balance in those houses. Well, well, uh, balance and consistency in a different way because you're looking at this house and you're trying to rectify like six different things all together. You're like, all right, we've got this cool style of like a. But I, but if you went back to those other things, that those houses had more crazy stuff going on than this one. I Mm -hmm. I know they had more crazy stuff going on, but they played into each other like this. There's something. It feels like it's a mismatched zipper. This house, you know what I mean? I don't think that. I think I think this looks cheap. I think I think that's I think what the it's re- got to be. The reason why I don't like this and I like those other ones, it's because it looks cheap, and 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 you know this guy spent a lot of money, so why does it look cheap? Or, or, I, or maybe I, that's not it. I mean, it's I just, still fall back on the lack of consistency. I don't know baby. why. Like a big, seeing all these shingles makes it feel really cheap and to me. A lot of roof in this house, and and, and then so, you see the other ones. There's like tile roof and you yeah. like it you know and they don't show a whole lot of it i mean just but i mean i'm just trying to like rectify this whole thing it it it's like we've got on this spiral sides like the the sphere or the cylinders we've turret. got it's a turret okay we've got two turrets one turret is blocky and weird and has the only style of that weird <laughs> opening windows thing there on the left side the left side has like these weird windows that look like they open the other turret is is spherical and it actually like has the circular bend to it but like rectifying the two side by side it just feels like they didn't have an idea before they went into it and two people came together and said all right i made my cylindrical turret and then they looked at the other one they're like oh you did it that way i did it this way (laughs) um like it feels like there's no cohesion and then the same thing yeah like a group well the same thing going down the side of the house what are you doing (laughs) yeah what what? oh no you did that one so, but like, look, even the, so look at the, the middle two portions of the house. So we've got like 
two things that are competing to be the front entrance of the house. And it feels like you're like, wait, which one am I supposed to look at here? But you're, 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 all you're doing is critiquing the badness of this house. But, okay? I, but that's why I'm saying you're asking, what don't we like about this house? I'm saying it's not cohesive enough. It's got three different things that it's trying to do in three different ways. I see what you're saying versus the other versus ones. Versus the other ones, even there's though they're one crazy. Idea, even though there's a lot going on, there's a lot of symmetry and equalness. And like, even in the though they materials. had like crazy we, we didn't like this house. You did. I like this one. I mean, it's, it's, it's over, I think it's overweight. It's not, I think out of all the ones we looked at, this was But go back to that one, one I liked, that the second first Empire one. one. Like that, that one, one has like a lot, like all the same windows. I yeah. think that's what you're saying. Yes. Like it has, even though it's crazy, windows. it has a lot of like. Well, like even go back to the first one. I like the Swiss looking one. Like even this one, this one's the craziest one out there. But all but the, the columns the idea are the that same. they're doing, yeah, all the columns are the exact same. The, the ideas that they're pulling together here make more sense than the ideas that they're trying to pull together in this so, other house. You know what I'm saying? I I could argue against you, well, but, I, but I don't. But, no, no, no. But that's I, great. But, but I, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. But I don't know if, um, if that's why. Also, that's also why. I will say just looking back on this one, just even they, they have the – the two people that did a group project together and came back differently. They, they've got two different turrets that are different. So like concession, concession there, but also even the execution of the two things. There is a turret on this one. So this one would be Queen Anne. The execution of this one still is, is good. Like, all right, go back to the McMansion. It's just better. So I, it just looks cheap. That's it. it. Look I cheap. think that's it does, what it is. It looks cheap. And what makes it cheap? Okay. I think it's the, the basic brick, the basic shingles, like the basic the vinyl windows, windows look cheap. It's like true. it's just a big, cheap. That's mess. true. Yeah, it's a lot of cheap. Like products. there's no yeah. specific yeah. material there you, that you, you would don't be like, look at oh, anything and go, cool. that, "Oh, that's really well crafted." Yeah. yeah, you don't look at anything and say, "Oh, that took forever to make." Like even that eight foot uh, buttress thing that we were looking at. Mm -hmm. what, what is that, that bracket thing. Bracket. Yeah, that one. You say you could see some like craft and time yeah. went into that. Not so much eye. with the brick lay. Oh, even the pattern brick, even the pattern yeah, of the roof shingles, the, yeah. I like mean, that kind of stuff. You can see quality. So in what's interesting in that. is that we're seeing um, two. I'm trying to probably um, relatively. I bet they spent the same kind of money, and yeah. that they're both nice houses for mm -hmm. the period. Um, but that that it it, it just it doesn't communicate craft. I will say though, I do like the uh, the grass. Looks <laughs> like the way they yeah. uh, <laughs> the way they've cut that cross grass. lines. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'm actually curious because we're all we're kind of stumped here. It's so nice. <laughs> Look at it. Seriously, I'd love to run on that grass. Yeah. <laughs> Just to put my toes Parefoot, in it. Yeah. Seriously, that is a great. <laughs> <laughs> the lawn is nice. That is one of the nicest lawns I've ever seen. One thing, um, one thing I'd love to hear. Just get that house out of the way. <laughs> the field, that'd be a nice field. I'll take the lawn. I'll take the lot. Uh, one thing that I'd love to hear is just in the comments, if y'all are seeing the same thing, just what you're seeing uh, and why you don't like this house. Uh, yeah, tell what, us. Because I, we're stumped kind of in like kind of identifying, pinpointing what's going on. I would actually love to hear what everyone else is. If you're feeling the same way, I don't know. I think it. I think it's cheap for me. I think it. I think it's. Uh, it doesn't read as well thought out. It looks uh, like, um, you know, they they went to the the window store and they went to the brick yes, store. Yes, exactly. And, yeah. and they yeah. just picked out. Well, I like you know, item three forty two dash Z. <laughs> yeah. And so, and there's no, you know, style. It, it yeah. feels like. Uh, <laughs> it feels like a school assignment where you do the bare bare minimum. Right, you're like, I, but you I did. Want like a uh, it's house. a Victorian. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It checks all the boxes, but you didn't boxes, do anything. But there is nothing that has taken this to the next level, and and there's some things that have taken it away from the next level. But like even the brickwork, like there there's, they have no ornate brickwork other than just like where they need it, you know. And where not, is that? Not even where they need it. I'm just saying. See, like, the problem is is, is that is that probably in plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. This looked a lot more interesting. Like, uh, like <laughs> On the blueprints sheet, yeah. looked a lot more interesting than this house ended up being. And the the thing is, is that I've learned when I'm reading blueprints, like that window detail on the on the octagonal turret yeah. thing, that brick detail underneath those windows, okay, and that brick detail at those little 
if that's going to be your capital mm -hmm. of the brick, show up on the plans as a lot of lines and a lot of detail. Okay. Whereas mm -hmm. in execution, it looks, um, it was just, it's just plain. It looks very plain. Especially and then that the band, the that banding color. at the top on the right side, yep. Yep. right. That probably looked like a lot better detail than, than it does. In yeah. The because it's and longer and lines. So it's hard the... as a client to look at today with, 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 uh, 3d technology. technology and stuff like that you can actually kind of look at the house a little bit better but the problem is in the 80s when you did these blueprints um <laughs> it's it they they looked probably more interesting on paper and if the client couldn't see it they go yeah i mean yeah that looks like it's going to be a nice house and no one was trained to say okay look here's the problems with this house and walk them through that right there there if anything this house is traditional okay if anything, all right, you've got yeah. columns in a porch, right? But the the fact that it's not symmetrical because you've got the the gable on one side and the turret on the other side, it's not balanced that way. Even though it is some, you know, set up to be kind of balanced. Like if you were standing at the doorway, there'd certainly be a central axis. Anyway, it's just it's just misguided. It, I suspect that's the that's the uh, garage. The on ornamentation, the, right. yeah. the ornamentation that they did choose to use is so weak too like yeah. around the the turret. round turret yeah. it's like yeah. those little brackets are like so weak and that's, that's they where they they looked yeah. at, they looked at it and said yeah i saw this thing that had this cool banding around the top you want a banding yeah okay i got your banding there you go but it had like a little block you see this picture <laughs> like a little oh we could put a little block. yeah we got a block yeah we'll take care of that yeah. Yeah. just two by four hey bit. get those yeah. scraps two by fours <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that are some blocks <laughs> yeah Ah oh, man, I'm just such a fan of cobblestone, but that's. Really I mean, that's done. not a terrible house. Does, does do do we think that that's a McMansion? I mean, it is showy, right? I'm just anything I, that's I, done past the black and white photos. I'm just worried is is not supposed to be good. <laughs> but I'm a fan of the the cobblestone. I mean, this is this is like you've got uh, this is a little European villa, right? Yeah. And You're, I'm a sucker ahead. for a good European villa. What? I was going to say, go ahead. Sorry, I was interrupting you. No, it's fine. I was saying, here's what, it's not bad in my, like what you said, it's not terrible. But here's what gives it away to me, that it's like, it's that how the attic space is so huge. Like all the houses, yeah. like out in Hazlitt, that they're building and like these giant McMansions, that attic space and roof line just keeps reaching for I the know. sky. And to me, I'm like, I like to see where it just stops. Well, I mean, it, you know, if you looked at historical, and this is a French style, like chateau, okay, uh, mm -hmm. and and it's a it's a it's a country chateau is what I would call it. But if you then start digging into the details of it, like look at the door to the left of the turret and how big that is compared to the front door. I mean, that thing's mm -hmm. uh, like that's an eight or nine foot door, and you know, you're talking height. I'm talking height, right? Like, like it's confusing to me. You look at the roof line and uh, the size of the windows. You look at the, you know, the fact that you've got, it is a very busy front, right? You got a turret on the left, you got the gable end, you got another turret and then another turret, and then it kind of goes off to the side. I mean, it is uh, a lot. The dormers are all different sizes, right? They're not, there's, there's not a balance or symmetry there. So, but I mean, you know, execution wise, this, this house isn't, I mean, a lot of people would love this house. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it could be cleaned up a lot, mm -hmm. but this would be a good one for you to, yeah, that, that'd be a good one to clean up. I'm, I'm honestly a little curious about like, Rich, I love what you said about the attic space. Like if this was a, uh, like done better, would there be more usage of that upper story kind of like, I would think that you would definitely have, you It'd know, show more of the side. You would have, you would have, uh, you know, the, the help living up in that space and you'd have small dormers going all the way across that thing. Right. But because the way this is organized, like there's like, they never would have built this house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it would have been much more square yeah. and, you know, a rectangle form. Okay. With a turret or with something tied to it, it wouldn't have three turrets. And so what the three tours does is they, they mess up the balance of this house. Yeah. And, and so you don't have access to that attic space 
And like Richard's saying, it's kind of a throwaway attic space. You know what I would like? So I guess to answer your question, if I drove by this and turned my head, I would say that is a McMansion. But I would like cut out the middle section and pull the two sides yeah, together. Because I like, I that, like that right side. Oh, that's a good idea. I do too. Just I, cut I, out all the like, hey, look at me stuff. You know? Though if you do that, it's kind of interesting. The way that the windows are set up together, it kind of pulls itself. <laughs> yeah, it's you, like, well, hey, you well, know what I'm saying? Like, if you do that, you've got the biggest windows of the house over here and then the smallest then you of the get house that side roof. by side. Yeah, but then the roofs match the roof. up almost. Yeah, so, but, but here's here's where the, you get the challenge, and I've talked to these customers who want an important house, and this is someone who wants an important yeah. house, and they the architect isn't guiding them saying, look, if we want a traditional French chateau, you know, country house, it's going to look like this. It's going to be like this. This is where, you know, you're showing them a lot of historical pictures and a lot of things. But those client, the client wants this, right? Because it, it, I suspect that's there, there are, there, that house doesn't look cheap to me. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. And that, uh, that other house looked cheap. Mm -hmm. You know, Definitely. they, the, the, the way, They've got that port cachet, you know, over there on the port cachet, as it says on the right, the landscaping, the, 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 this is, this is not a cheap house. And, um, how does this grass relate, Chris, <laughs> Richard, how is this? I like it. The crisscross yeah. hatching. Yeah. It, the other one was better. I will, yeah. I will give the other one. <laughs> um, <laughs> The edge. Yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's interesting. It's uh, a newer house, but not to my, it's not a McMansion in my mind. Good. I liked this one. <laughs> <laughs> Where, in contrast. Did we say Starter Castle? Yeah. Are you? Did you look that, up Disney World? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is everything that's bad about modern building, in my opinion. This is like uh, more for more sake. Yeah, I. Okay, oh so gosh. like there, there's consistency in it in a lot of ways to where I'm kind of like I, everyone's kind of like, oh man, I don't get, I don't know enough to get it. I think that because I, I get that it's weird. Like this is a weird looking house. Okay, I, it feels I, yeah. very tall, but I don't, I don't have enough to be like, yeah, that one's so bad. Because, well, I mean, if you ask the client, you know, what do you want this house to be? Mm -hmm. right like what is this house like what historic precedent is there for this house disney world right disney there, world. there there really isn't mm -hmm. because you know disney world is 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 an is, actual castle yeah is it's fashioned after an actual you know i think it's a Scottish. german castle oh, yeah. um and uh <laughs> there's disney <laughs> there's disney world in vegas see that i know why it's bad i, I see that yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean yeah, that's a great that's a great picture because you know that the house <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> See the rivets of where they put in the metal. Uh, so part of the problem is that this house <laughs> isn't. There's no historical precedent for this house. Yeah. Okay, there is historical reminders. Right, I've seen turrets. Right, I've seen I've seen those those peak turrets, and I've seen well, the and gothic. I only see turrets. On the, well, it doesn't the seem gothic top practical from the inside too. Like, what are you doing in all those <laughs> spheres? You know, like what what are those? Most furniture comes square. <laughs> I think this this house speaks to someone who wants a show, who wants impression, it to be impressive. Um, I mean, it, it looks this house. There's some cheapness to it as well because mm -hmm. those windows are all just flat pieces of glass. Yeah. They're not even operable windows. They're just, and that's the cheapest way to build a window. And so it's just like, well, why did they do that? And and they, it, it looks like they've spent some money. Yeah, they could have actually put design in the windows and actually had. Well, the, the grass is not very good either. Yeah, lowest <laughs> yeah. grass rating. Well, Richard, what do you rate it? Like a. It's three. just. It's just. Like they. Three, it's yeah. just so haphazard. This house is haphazard. Well, I guess there's not even a consistency. How'd you in fix it? Remove all turrets, shrink it down to one story, make the roof the shorter. Like that's what I'm seeing. That's good. It's kind of know. interesting because the well, only. Well, I don't. I wouldn't have the same windows on the top floor and the bottom floor. Mm. Right, the windows on the second floor would be smaller. They what would, do you think of wouldn't... the X-banding thing? Well, yeah. there's a there's a there's a a detailing in masonry called diapering, which has which is a diamond patterned brick detail. That's not it, but that's but that's what they're that's what they're trying to evoke. Um, 
I, it's just this is just this disappointing to so me. So looking at the front here, the what's there's like a courtyard inside it's almost like it's a fake front house. Do you see that? The well, fake first story? The, the they're um but yeah, you know that's like your, the that's, porch your, is that's open. your entry courtyard. What? Yeah, I mean that that's and this is probably ten million. Uh it's at least five. Oh, right? wow. okay. It's at least five. So I, I was I, way over. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think it's expensive enough to be ten million. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I would say it's a four to six million dollar house. But do you think Americans just are like, wow, you know, it is worth ten million? Or, yeah, no, I think that I think that that's the. I mean, this speaks to like the, if you would ask me the when ignorance I was a kid, of the American, I would have been like, what? That's I think so, so cool. You know? I think, so I think this speaks to the ignorance of the American consumer. I mean, you know, the the fact that this guy's built six of these around the Metroplex, <laughs> right? And Just, they still haven't caught him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, He's on the lamb. It's disappointing. It's, it's He's frustrating. building them that fast. <laughs> it can't He's showing up to client meetings in like the, the Groucho glasses. <laughs> yeah. The uh, <laughs> wanted for six McMahons, <laughs> six murders. I mean, this guy's murders. laughing all the way to the bank. You know, just it's it's disappointing. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that that front turret, it looks like they just shifted it up. It's just once. it just seems like like if you had a uh, if a European came to America and he said, "Show me one photo to show that." It, let me. I'm gonna show me the greatest. No, uh, I'm gonna. No, <laughs> I'm. You have seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show you one photo. That proves that Americans have no taste. <laughs> yeah. He's going to show this photo. And you're going to go, oh, well, yeah, that's They that's have no point. taste. Do you yeah. see there is a lot of problems with the house? <laughs> um, it's that's just, it's opinion. just, that's, that's why it's disappointing to me. Because just the, the fact that he's sold a bunch of these, it's just, it's gross. It's gross. That's a terrible house. Just how we say I it, hate gross. it. Or he, is it the exact same one six times? Or um, just pretty much? Control C, control V. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, close to it, pretty close much. to it. Yeah, yeah. I, d- I doubt it's the exact same. Uh, uh, this house. reminds me of South Lake. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. You know, it's funny to me that South Lake Market, which is a market north of Dallas, that uh, kind of sits between Dallas and Fort Worth, and is just kind of if Dallas and Fort Worth are thirty minutes apart, this one sits to the top of the triangle, right above mm-hmm. them. Um, tons of CEOs of company live in South Lake mm-hmm. tons of, of, you know, five to $15 million houses that have no style that, that aren't well done that, you know, and the CEOs are gobbling them up and, and just, mm-hmm. they're just, they're bad. Oh my God. There's another one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they are Disney. That's South Lake. Yeah. That's a typical South Lake house. That's just, you know, it's huge. It's, it's, uh, Oh my gosh. Oh, You're that's right. like the it does same. Speak to South Lake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's got the open courtyard. It's got the that actually might be the same. That thing. I should just house. take the kids that there. That is the house. That's the house. I don't have to go to Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right, guys, load up. Maybe it's thirty minutes. Something. Oh, it's got a turret in the back. It 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 actually had like a castle turret the in the back. Look at that. Oh, yeah, with the castellations yeah. on it. <laughs> <laughs> the parapet. The well. Yeah, I'm just okay. So, South so there's Lake. there's there that house gets the closest to the Victorian, over the top, tons of different things Without going on. Touching but him. what's crazy about it, it's like Jackson said, it's just like Control Z or yeah, you control know, C, like like v. those turrets are just like click 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 yeah. click. The other ones are at least for like unique. Well, you know, and, and even if you look at it, 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 when he raised it up a little bit, he still copied and pasted the same thing because the window oh, yeah. line is completely off. Like the windows are higher, and then even the lanterns <laughs> are higher. Like he just wow. It he took everything and raised it up just a half bit to, you know, it's just off. So here is modern Victorian done well. Question mark? Absolutely not. So, so I did a fix on this house in one of my Saturday videos or or Wednesday. design videos. Yeah. Um. I mean, I, I can't even. I can't even speak. <laughs> yeah, me neither. This is bad. This is bad. Bad. Yeah. Yep. I was thinking the same thing. 
Look, <laughs> do you not think that's bad? I just have a hard time of piecing together what what is Victorian well, supposed to be because we just looked at a lot of like quote unquote good Victorian, and they're all kind of all over the place and kind of crazy. This one, kind of all over the place, kind of crazy, just with a modern bend to it. So I'm like, I don't really know. Do you I can't. think this is an historic house or a new house? I think it's a new house. Okay. So it's not a Victorian. It's a well, I know that, but I'm just saying like it's trying to be Victorian, and so I don't know what necessarily constitutes good versus it, bad versus. Is you know, this all trying to be Victorian? I think so. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got an octagonal. They probably couldn't afford the the full circle, so they did an octagon up there. <laughs> well, um, I, that whole gable end roof yeah. there that no, with the, the hangout the are bad. and the the window over there. Um, <laughs> Talking about some gay yeah, that's returns. Bad. That's, that's bad. the uh, you see the <laughs> when I was telling you I was popping the trim off my. That's the exact same. See the impression of wood. This is from yeah. The other that's episode. that's. I think that's yeah. wood. I think that's masonite board. Hey, go back to that picture. And and here's one. We're just I'm just going to tear down that porcachere. Okay, just which way? Which part's porcachere? The carport. Carport. carport sweet. Okay, I'm just going to tear that down. Okay, look where the stone is on the inside of that of that carport. Mm-hmm. There's stone running up the inside of the wall. Okay, mm-hmm. and so you know what's supporting that stone? Why isn't that arch falling? <laughs> right? How do you have stone glued to the underside of the of the thing? There's no beam in there. There's nothing supporting that. So that is basically they have they built the, the built the carport and then they glued veneers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Over top of the whole thing, inside and out, in it the looks ceiling, like wallpaper. It's on the freaking ceiling of that deal. <laughs> now that I see that, it looks like it's, wallpaper. It's in like there. wallpaper, and so, but there's it's on the freaking ceiling. <laughs> but, but there's there's an example of of kind of the difference between the way they would build, where the way they're built today. It's cheap. It's it's it's. That just that drives me up the wall. I mean that that it makes me mad. I'm angry about it, and it just <laughs> it's it's not right. And um, I mean that's not fair. It, it's, it's 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 not fair. It's, you tell them it isn't. It's just like they have they have they've done an injustice an to you that and to builders everywhere. And that one is worse than the Disneyland one we yeah. see. Yeah. As far as what this guy has done to America, this guy <laughs> screwed America. I'm telling you, I'm not going to back down from that either. What do you What do you do about the T posing octagon at the top there, uh, top right side where the house is doing this over top of the thing? That's a, that's a Victorian detail. That's why I think this house is Victorian. Okay. And then there is our lovely uh, Victorian in Granbury. Why is this Victorian symmetrical? Ah. It's just that Got it's him. unusual, right? Tell us. Well, no. Uh, in the Italianate style, uh, you often had symmetry. If okay. I was to guess style-wise, I think this one would be Italianate. <laughs> Am I right? My son, the smartass. Did I nail it? <laughs> yeah. Um, Nailed it. <laughs> um, okay, if you're like me... Uh, and an apprentice out there, we've actually done the tour of this house. There was some uh, some tarps over the windows and some construction going on on this house. But we have done a tour of the inside of this house. I've been to this place. And I didn't recognize it. You did it. some work there, actually. Did hey. some work there. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. He, that uh, hearth. Pulled he, up he, some original hearth. Yeah. So I wonder when that picture was taken. <laughs> because when we got there, the, the balustrades were gone. And this has to look like a garage back to the right. I don't even see anything to the left. That's just really interesting. It looks like the chimney is not on the left side of the house. Because there is a chimney on both sides, correct? There's a chimney on the back. Oh, um, on the back, okay. It's not It's not on the side. Well, it, I mean, it is just really fascinating. Uh, even looking at this one versus the last one that we saw, just the level of detail is something that I'm noticing is is better and is looks good. Well, I, I think, it, you know, we're not seeing it when we look at the exterior of the house, Yeah. but, um, the, the craftsmanship of Victorian, um, and, and was, was better. 
and is better. Why? Well, because craftsmen were more skilled back then, right? Mm -hmm. they, they did more things. How do you know? Because we go look at those houses and we see them all over the place, yeah. the crazy things that they were doing yeah. with hand tools, right? Those were not with power tools. It was all with hand tools. Now, I say that. I was going to say some of the Victorian was, right? Yeah. I mean, the doors and windows were made in shops and things like that. But if you think about the, the way all the trim was put on or, or the, uh, the, those other details, it was all done by hand, right? There was no nail guns. You, you know, one thing I think we've forgotten is how hard it is to drive a nail and thinking about some of the trim that we put on. When you have a 23 gauge Brad, okay, that you can just shoot this little needle into yeah. this thing Sink. and it doesn't blow out the wood. Imagine trying to hammer a piece of wood like that in today with that with a, you know, hammering a nail. Yeah, I mean, you'd yeah. have to pre-drill it, right? Mm -hmm. And then you would be carefully putting in your nail. You have a nail set, right? You, you, I mean, there would, it would take a lot longer, right? And it's because, and then you're cutting those things by hand. You think of all of that work that goes into those houses, and then today with the ease of how we build things, we do them cheap and fast. And I think that's what we're seeing. I think that's. I think that's why, if you study the two of them, why we still look at those Victorians in awe, and we look at the the McMansions in dis, you know disgust, because it's just uh, it's just it's so over the top. It's but and it's cheap and it's and it's not well executed and it's you know. Have you seen any new Victorians that are well executed? Nope, never seen one. I'm sure they're out there, but I've never seen one. And send them in if you got. That is crazy because you see new i mean you build houses that are like georgian and stuff that are they look great the, you know the but thing, they're the old style yeah that's interesting this is probably too expensive right like nobody want, or maybe people don't even want that anymore i it's just there are victorian lovers out there okay but they're a minority it's almost like the people that like modern architecture um or residential modern architecture there's it's just they, they, the resale's not very good on them. And so, you know, the, you know, that house we did in Florida for the people that wanted a new Gothic revival, I mean, there were tons of stuff is well executed and well done in that house, well crafted. They bought a lot of architectural salvage in order to infuse that into the house. Um, but, uh, that's as close as we got, but we couldn't, we couldn't execute it completely because there was heights restrictions. Like a Gothic, you see how tall those Gothic revival house, Gothic house, yeah. Yeah. Victorian houses were. I mean, it just kept going up yeah. and up. Yeah. And in Naples, where we built that house, there was a height restriction. So that means that it got squatty. And so it didn't. Oh, that's, yeah. It, it wasn't it didn't as look right. uplifted as it should have been. They also had window, they had to have windows that, that oh. didn't, uh, that could do the hurricane things. And so that you couldn't get, you couldn't build good windows. And wow. so you, we were, you know, kicked out at hamstrung. the, you know, hamstrung, you know, kicked out at the knee on a number of areas that would have made it better because those people had the will and the desire to do something. And so can it be done? Absolutely. Have I ever seen it executed? Well, no. Mm -hmm. And so, and that house in Naples is as close as I've ever gotten. We should visit, like, I know we just did McFarland, but... It'd be cool to go to one of these giant yeah. Victorians. Well, you forget that you haven't seen either. Like yeah. all go look I at think it. Um, I think it's hard because um, I bet we'd go down like Waxahachie and go to some of these towns that outside of yeah. DFW that haven't been torn down. Actually, I know one. Well, I've been in it. Um, but yeah, I bet we can find one. Yeah, there's the, something fun. just. But, but, but uh, let me just finish the. It's hard when you stand in front of the now doing this back and forth help, has helped me kind of realize what the difference is. But it's a bunch of there's maybe five or ten things that you need to get right in order to to, to be well done. And um, it's hard to see that when you're just standing in front of it. It, it, it helps to see all these different pictures. All right. Well, no, no, not at all. The, one of the things that I just keep thinking as you guys are saying like when you think of the detail you had to set a nail you had to you know drill a hole pre-drill a hole and all this other stuff <clears throat> i hear that and i go well it would be easier to do that today it would be cheaper to do that today because of modern tools is that not right like when and i know it, w it wouldn't be cheaper by comparison like obviously it's still gonna be expensive more expensive than other stuff but it would be cheaper and right. easier and faster to get it done 
today in some of those modern settings where we can get a lot of that stuff done with a, you know, nail gun or, Mm -hmm. you know, some of these other things where, I don't know, is that, is that wrong? Is that the wrong way of thinking about it? I think that's right. You're saying that it, that even if you were going to pre-drill it and hand nail it, it would be cheaper today because our tools are better. Just be faster because of our tool. Like there's be faster than it was back then. Correct. And there's some modern technology advantages where it's like, you know, a lot of times we're like, go poo poo on, on some of the newer tools, but at the same right, it's like, Hey, we could do a lot of this stuff better and faster. And that was the original intention behind those newer tools. Instead, they've only turned in making us lazier. But if we did have the passion for craft oh, in a lot of ways, new tools. there could be a, yeah. <laughs> if yeah. you, if you yeah. had a, um, if someone said, I want to build a Victorian house, I want to mm-hmm. build a good one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just thinking through this as we're talking. Yeah. Um, I think I would say the best way to do it would be to find a Victorian house you love yeah. and let's go study it. Okay, yeah. and mm-hmm. the study it would be how tall are the ceilings, how big are the windows, what's the find your proportion f- chart. There's not a Victorian proportion. I know, proportion but chart. I'm, I'm saying like right. you would make you, one. You, you would you, yeah, absolutely. You would establish the the rules and the the parts and pieces, right? Mm-hmm. So that would be an easier way to build it mm-hmm. by studying the past and actually going to a house and actually measuring it. Then to try to sit there with a paper hand, pencil in hand, going, okay, I drive think, yourself I think, crazy yeah. in that style. I think, I think, I think, I think, no, I think. Wait a minute, all right. And so, yeah. So if anybody out there wants to build a good Victorian, okay, um, study the past. That's going to be the best way because there aren't there aren't. Again, I don't know of any architects out there. I know there's plan services that offer new Victorians, um, but I don't know of any of those people that that really know what they're doing and really can execute the parts and pieces Mm -hmm. like this, like the height of the ceiling, the size of the windows compared to that, the amount of ornamentation, the size of that ornamentation, all of those things are just these subtle little things that you probably have 20 things that will all are, all are 2%, 1% things Mm -hmm. that will just make that difference. Mm -hmm. That are all lacking like on that one from the eighties. It's like, none of that's here. What are you doing? You know? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's fascinating. Um, so, you think it could be done? Yes, Let's do it. I think it could be done. It's, uh, but it is a, it is an expensive um, undertaking, and uh, but it could be pretty special. Isn't um, golly, what's the place uh, in England? Versailles isn't that Victorian? Okay, where is Versailles? Uh, in France. Sorry. Okay, isn't Versailles? <laughs> I, did, sorry, I misspoke. Isn't Versailles, though, Victorian? Okay. When was Versailles built? Hey, not here for I'm, the history lesson. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know. I don't know when Versailles was built. Okay. Who built Versailles? Uh, Louis the Louis. 14th. Okay. When did Louis the 14th live? Before uh, Victoria. Yes. I'm guessing. Okay. <laughs> yes. But I thought, I thought you've said something in the past on the podcast where it's been like a lot of people have tried to do versailles well which is like victorian correct they go to they they, they go to visit well. versailles and they come home some rich guy says you know with no taste says um i'm gonna build a versailles yeah. people are gonna be impressed with me yeah and they try to do that and and they fail miserably uh-huh they end up in south I, I, I think there's a similar pattern <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> there's got to be a similar pattern to a lot of the victorian things that we're seeing here where people see the victorian and it's just hard to execute on Right. I think that is true, yeah. but I think I think that that is true of of most historical styles. Okay. Like I like that building a good Georgian house, building a good federal house, building a good Greek revival house. Yeah, it's hard. Those seem, but look, those at are this, look those this. seem easy. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And I think people people look at those houses and go, "Oh, I can do that." And they still mess it up Definitely. because they miss up the the window proportions. They miss up. You know the brick detail. They again, they miss miss all those details. But yeah. as far as executability, the Georgians and Greek revivals yeah. are much easier than the Versailles and mm-hmm. the Victorians. And and I think that should say something for why we're in awe of the Victorians, yeah. right? They're 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 impressive, right? Yeah. There's a ton going on there, and while it's over the top, it's still well done. Yeah. Well, anyway. Cool. We got to go to one. Yes, yeah. like another one. I know we just went. You just go to where Victoria was. You know what we got to do? We got to go do a road trip. We go to California. Eureka, California, is the most famous uh, Victorian house. Look it up. 
real quick. You want to take uh, the sprinter? You got to show the yeah. Blue jump in the sprinter. The sprinter. <laughs> I'll meet you there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Eureka, California. There, this guy was a wood, uh, was a, uh, um, he was a, in the wood merchant business. He was a wood supplier or something like that. And he built this house. Whoa. I haven't been okay. to it. I've, cool. I, it, it's, Eureka. That is the, hey, that look is at the that. house. What? So we were looking at the black and white version of that. Look at that. Did he restore it or did he build it? No, no, no he that's built Eureka. it. That's Eureka. That's that's where we you, that's yeah, where we ought to go. Right? You, yeah, you go there. that's yeah. where we that's where yeah. we need to go. Nice. That's the most famous. Like if you type in most famous Victorian house in America, yeah, th this one will be in the top wow, ten. That would be hard to execute. <laughs> it's crazy seeing them in different material or the different colors. Yeah. The oh, it's pretty. Isn't that wow. crazy? Look at even the details in the colonnades on the sides. Woo! That is we'll cool. We'll say the 80s when did have better grass, though. <laughs> <laughs> we got to work on that's that it. grass. Yeah, we got to get that. Yeah, look at that pristine field of grass. Oh, gosh, why is that terrible? I hate that. I don't like Make looking it at that house. It stung you. Yeah. Uh, well, guys, thank you guys for watching this episode of the Passion for Craft podcast. We'd be very curious to hear your reasons for why you don't like this house um, or maybe why you do like this house. Um, and then we'll block you. We'll, no. we'll block you. <laughs> Kick you off the Patreon. No, just kidding. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>